the most detailed infrared transmission spectrum of an exoplanet, shocks the entire space industry. James Webb's unexpected discovery brings things to light that researchers simply hadn't expected. With the most accurate analysis of a planet outside our solar system, the new telescope has once again proven that a new era of space exploration has begun. What did the James Webb Telescope find around the exoplanet WASP-96b that surprised researchers so much? And can there be life on this distant planet? WASP-96b is a mysterious wanderer that has been hiding in the endless darkness of the cosmos. But from time to time, this exoplanet passes by like a phoenix before its star. And then comes the moment when we can see and study this distant world from Earth. The fascinating planet orbits its star extremely quickly and at a breathtaking close distance, turning its atmosphere into an inferno of over 725 degrees Celsius. The gas giant only needs 3.5 Earth days to complete one orbit around the star WASP-96. Since its discovery in 2014, the first planet discovered in this star system has posed puzzles, and now scientists have set about unraveling these mysteries with the new James Webb Telescope. WASP-96b is located together with its star about 1150 light-years away in the constellation of Phoenix, and it is most likely a gas giant. WASP-96b is only about half the size of Jupiter, and most likely has a sodium-rich atmosphere. Even though it is somewhat similar to the largest planet in our solar system, WASP-96b is a world that has no direct counterpart in our system. In June 2022, the Webb Space Telescope captured the cleanest signature of this mysterious distant world, and people on Earth are fascinated. Webb demonstrated its unprecedented ability to precisely analyze the atmospheres of distant planets for the first time here. The scientists found water and evidence of cloud and haze in the atmosphere of this hot, bloated gas giant planet. WASP-96b, what exactly do we know? This diagram got scientists all excited. James Webb struck with his near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph and revealed the atmospheric properties of the hot gas giant WASP-96b so precisely that it left astronomers speechless. It's a bit like looking into a distant house with binoculars and suddenly being able to see all the details. You'd be amazed and probably just as excited as the scientists who looked at WASP-96b in 2022. It's almost as if we were right there now, seeing the planet with our own eyes, astronomers enthused about this masterpiece, and what was previously mere conjecture suddenly became tangible fact. With his Nigris instrument, James Webb produced a complete transmission spectrum, the most accurate we had ever had of an exoplanet. The transmission spectrum is produced when starlight filtered through the planet's atmosphere is compared with unfiltered starlight. This type of observation is only possible if the planet orbits next to or in front of its star. Scientists call this passing of the planet a transit or transmission. The most accurate data is obtained with this type of observation when the planet is next to the star. James Webb creates a diagram from 141 individual data points. In the diagram, these can be seen as white circles, and each of these circles represent a specific wavelength of light. The differences are caused by the absorption of starlight by the planet. Some light waves are also blocked or altered by the planets. This creates a light imprint of the direct planetary environment, and as the surfaces of the planets reflect light, conclusions can be drawn from the diagrams about the surface properties of the planets. One of the light curves from Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph shows the change in the brightness of the light as the planet passes the star. Within the graph, the wavelengths range from 0.6 micrometers, shown in red, to 2.8 micrometers, which is already in the near-infrared range. This new technology is fantastic, and for the first time in human history, it is possible to make precise statements about distant exoplanets. Researchers are now able to detect the abundance of important gases in a planet's atmosphere. In the absorption patterns of light, each gas has its own typical light wave pattern. Webb naturally recognizes these structures fully automatically and delivers the finished diagrams and measurement data 
after a few hours of observation. Researchers can read an incredibly broad spectrum of information from the heights of the transmission data. Peaks allow interpretations of the temperatures in the atmosphere, and of course, we get data on important gases or aspects such as water. A hotter planet like WASP-96b shows strikingly high peaks in the curves, and very specific patterns reveal water vapor and clouds. The parameters in the measurement diagrams are variable, and it is even possible to make predictions about the density and height of the cloud cover. Other graphs reveal the abundance of different gases and show biomarkers. It will take years to fully analyze the data on WASP-96b, but researchers were able to share the most exciting facts about this world with the public quite quickly. For example, we now know that there is water vapor in this world. Peaks in the transmission curves indicate the presence of clouds, and a gradual decrease in the spectrum indicates a possible cloudiness. The high atmospheric temperature of around 725 degrees Celsius was also determined by measurement curves like these. There is almost certainly no life on WASP-96b. If it were a gas giant, it would probably be just as inhospitable a world as our Jupiter or Saturn. Technical Miracle Thanks to SOS and NIRUS This detailed infrared transmission spectrum really does resemble a miracle, and yet there is solid technology behind it. The fact that Webb would be able to analyze distant worlds was intended, but the excellence with which this telescope now performs its work never ceases to amaze the scientific community. We have only been able to detect exoplanets in the vastness of space since the mid-1990s, and now, for the first time, we can learn crucial details about these distant worlds. WASP-96b may not be a promising candidate for life as a gas giant, but the instruments of the James Webb Telescope are capable of detecting Earth-like planets and evidence of life. The precise observation of WASP-96b was carried out using the SOS mode of NIRUS. SOS stands for Single Object Slitless Spectroscopy, and this innovative technique analyzes the spectra of individual celestial objects without the use of a slit. This slitless approach enables a broader coverage of the light spectrum, which simplifies the analysis and improves the quality of the collected data. The SOS module captures the spectrum over a wide range of wavelengths, typically from 0.6 micrometers in the visible red and up to 2.8 micrometers in the near-infrared. This ability to capture a broad spectrum in a single exposure is particularly valuable for analyzing the atmospheric composition of exoplanets. It allows scientists to identify the signatures of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules. The James Webb Space Telescope marks with technologies that go far beyond the capabilities of its predecessors. The impressive instrumentation uses infrared spectroscopy for the first time, making it far more powerful than Hubble or ground-based telescopes. The innovative technology and the ability to minimize interfering radiation significantly improves the direct observation of larger exoplanets. The near-infrared camera system, the near-infrared spectrograph, the mid-infrared instrument, and the fine guidance sensor near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph cover an unprecedented spectrum of infrared wavelengths, enabling precise analysis of different planets and other astronomical phenomena. Experts point out that we are only at the very beginning with the analysis of WASP-96b and the new technology, and we can look forward to seeing what completely new data on exoplanets this telescope will surprise us with in the next 10 years. Exoplanet Research on the Threshold of New Worlds It sounds hard to imagine, but of the estimated trillions of planets in the Milky Way alone, we have only discovered just over 5,000 for certain to date. These distant worlds orbiting stars outside our solar system are extremely difficult to observe. They emit no light themselves, and when they pass by their stars, even gas giants are just small dots. The Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990, was one of the first instruments capable of making precise observations of objects outside our solar system. Although it was not specifically designed for exoplanet research, Hubble has already provided us with valuable data. 
To further deepen this knowledge, scientists set the Kepler Space Telescope into space in 2009. Thanks to its ability to detect tiny changes in the brightness of stars, Kepler revolutionized exoplanet research, and since its launch, the number of planets discovered has increased daily. The purpose of exoplanet research is to improve our understanding of how planetary systems form and evolve. Seeing many other planets help us to better identify the conditions under which life forms. We still face the big question of whether we are alone in the universe. Where did life on Earth come from? And if there are other life forms, where are they? We need to explore exoplanets to answer these pressing questions. Despite technological advances, the challenges of finding and analyzing them are enormous. Astronomers have developed various methods to track down these tiny cosmic objects. The transit method, in which the periodic dimming of a star is observed as a planet passes in front of it, is one of the most successful techniques. Another method is the radial velocity method, which measures the movements of a star due to the gravitational influence of an orbiting planet. These movements lead to tiny but measurable changes in the spectral line of a star, indicating the presence of a planet. So far, we have discovered quite a few surprises in the cosmos. We know of almost 30 Earth-like planets, but each of these worlds is unique. The mini Neptunes or Hyacin worlds make up a very large portion of the exoplanets in the solar system. These rich water worlds could harbor life. We also know of many gas planets similar to Jupiter and Saturn. And we've even discovered a super Saturn with a massive ring system beyond our imagination. This diversity reinforces the hope that there are star systems elsewhere in the universe that are similar to ours and that there are planets that, like Earth, are perfect for life. Although the discovery of life beyond our Earth has not yet been realized, the progress we are making with telescopes like Webb's increases the likelihood that we will make more and more breakthroughs in the years to come. Webb has already detected water around Earth-like planets, and with its unique Miri spectrograph, this telescope can even identify light trails around planets that are not of natural origin. In plain language, this means that we would now be able to identify light emissions from cities or large industrial facilities on Earth-like planets in space. Click subscribe now, the best videos